Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this problem. And um, you are welcome to FUCO Mathematics. Here we will provide the solution to this problem. Now what we are going to do is to try to remove the square root. Mind you, we cannot add these two, but we can, you know, square both sides. So we have square root of 2x here. Now this will be squared. So that on the other side, we'll have 6 squared. Right? Now this equally means that we have root x plus root 2x times root x plus root 2x then everything equals 36 now to continue with this this multiplied by this will give us x now this multiplied by this that will give us plus by the way this x here can go in and multiply so we have square root of 2x okay we have square root of 2x squared yeah then this will multiply this we still have the same thing square root of um 2x squared right then we will move over to this multiply by this so that will give us plus 2x now everything is equal to 36 now to continue we have x plus we can add this two to get two of 2x squared I mean 2 of um, square root of 2x squared then plus 2x equals 36 now the next thing is to add this and this so we have 2 root 2x squared right then plus x plus 2x is 3x then this is equal to 36 now the next target is to remove this um square right so to remove the square what do i do okay so to remove this um i mean the square root right so i'm going to take this to the other side we have two square root of 2x squared equals 36 minus 3x and if you want you can divide all through by 2 divide this by 2 divide this by 2 this will go now we have square root of 2x squared equals half of 36 is 18 then minus 3 x over 2 now to remove this square root we will now square this side then we put these two together and we square it right so let's keep going now we can go with this so that 2x will be on the left hand side i mean 2x squared will be on the left hand side and that will be equal to 18 minus 3x over 2 multiply by 18 minus 3x over 2. Now let's continue with this. We are going to have 2x squared equals 18 times 18 is 324. Then 18 times this, 2 will go into 18. That is um, 9. 9 times 3x. That will give us negative 27x. Now, we will now pick this to multiply this. We have the same negative 27x. Then this multiplied by this will give us positive. We have positive 3x times 3x is 9x squared over 2 times 2, that is 4. 2 times 2, that is 4. Then from here now, we have 2x squared equals 324 minus put these two together we have 54x then plus 9x squared over 4 now you can decide to remove the the 
um, how do you call it, this fraction from here by multiplying all through by 4. So 4 times this will give us 8x squared equals 4 times 324. 4 times 6, um, 4 is 16. 4 times 2 is 8, and that will be 9. Then 4 times 3 is 12, right? Then minus, we have 4 times 54. 4 times 4 is 16. Then this is 20, and that will be 21x. Then plus 4 will cancel itself. We have 9x squared. Now, the next point is to collect terms. This and this will be together. So we have 8x squared. This will come here to give, to give us minus 9x squared. Then I'll write this first. This is coming to the other side to give us um, positive 216x. Then this will become minus 1296. Everything is equal to 0. Now let me go over this again. This and this together. Right, this is coming here, this and this together. This is coming here to become positive. This comes here again. Okay, let's go over that. This is this, and then um, this becomes negative 9x squared. This becomes positive, and this becomes negative. Everything is equal to zero. Now, this will give us minus x squared plus 221x, that is 216x minus two, um, 1296 equals 0. Now what should I do? Let's multiply everything by this negative. So we have x squared plus, okay it's going to become negative because we are multiplying by the negative. This is negative. We have 216x. Then this turns to positive 1296 equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation. Okay, so from here we have a very large number. So let's factor, um, solve this by using the formula. Our formula is x equals negative b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. Now a is 1, b is minus 216, and c is that. Now let's put it, put all of this into this formula. X will now be negative, negative will give us positive. So we'll write 216, then plus or minus. We have B squared, that will be negative 216 squared. Then minus, we have 4 times 1 because A is 1. Then times C, well, C is 1,296, right? Then we divide all of this by 2. Okay, so from here now, we're going to have X to be equal to 216 plus or minus. From there, we have square root of negative 216 squared will give us some... Um, that will give us 46,656, right? Then minus 4 times 1 times, 100, times 1,296 is 5,184. Then we divide by 2. Now our x is equal to 216 plus or minus. If you subtract this, you have... Um, 41,472 divided by 2. Now this is a large number, so let's just um, be fast about this. So our x will now be 216 plus or minus. Now square root of 41,472 is approximately 203.6. Right, okay. Um, for the sake of our time, I want to approximate this to a whole number. This is divided by two. Let's get a whole number from here. So, our x will now be 216 plus or minus 204 approximately. This is now divided by two. Okay, so to go into this, our x will now be two, will go into 
um, 2, we have 1 time. Then 2 into 1 is not possible, 0. 2 into 16 is 8. Then plus or minus 2 into 204, that will be 102. Right? So now, this is a 2 in 1 solution, meaning that our x is equal to 108 plus 102 or 108 minus 102. So now, to add this together, we have x to be equal to putting this to 0 and um, 2 plus 8, that is 8. We have 1 now. Then we have 2. That will be, you know, 2... 200 and okay, this is 210 rather. This is 210. Then on the other side, 108 minus 102 will give us 6. Okay, this right here are approximated figures, right? But then which of these will satisfy this equation? Square root of x plus square root of 2x equals 6. Now I want to I want us to start with this six, right? So we put square root of six plus um square root of two times six. That will now be twelve. Okay, so that will that will be twelve. Now let's do this and get what we get directly. What is square root of six plus square root of twelve? Okay, this is approximately five point nine. Okay, this is approximately 5.9. And then 5.9 is approximately 6. So that means that um, the value of x is equal to 6. So this is the um, value of x that satisfies the given equation, which is square root of x plus square root of 2x equals 6. Thank you for watching.